Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I know I said I was trying to try to get a bunch of videos out this week. Last week, today is actually Monday. I just got caught up in so many things. Uh, I had a bunch of family events going on that I did not know that I had going on and some other events for my mom's company where she works. So there was, I had like three events last week and once I got home, I was just dead. But I'm back, I'm ready to go. And uh, ironically, it's one in the morning. And actually, it's Tuesday. It's one in the morning. We're playing on the 2012. 19 version of the Acer Nitro 5. It's got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. So this is what I expect most people would be buying or a better option. This is what my friend King has. He has 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. By the way, congratulations on 100K. We are on the newest drivers, which were released eight days ago. And we have an i5 CPU at 2.4 gigahertz with four cores, eight threads, uh, 16 gigs of RAM clocked at 2666. Uh, eight gigs is just not enough. If you get a system with eight gigs, even of this spec, you're gonna want to upgrade and uh lastly i'm using an external monitor at 165 hertz because uh recording actually lowers my fps and um and therefore the test wouldn't be accurate but using the external monitor uh, through nvidia optimus actually boosts our fps slightly and um it gives me back about 80 to 90 percent of what i lose through recording so it's a more accurate test for you guys i am playing on the ultimate performance power mode which it looks like i need to enable because right now we're sitting at around the 1.5 gigahertz mark and an msi afterburner we're not overclocked at all so in power options i'm just gonna go here yep there it is power saver that'll kill you that'll kill you that'll cut your frames in half ultimate performance and boom we should instantly jump up to like four yep we're at four gigahertz now that's what you want to see Oh yeah, and now is the time that while we're waiting for Fortnite to finish updating, leave a like and subscribe to the channel right now. Looking at you, Timmy. This is Airsoft, by the way. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we're going to be testing in Team Rumble because Team Rumble is the most many game mode, assuming that we have a bunch of people in the end game. And I don't want to play up to Division 10 Arena because I'm not that good at Fortnite and I don't have the time to do that. All right, we're going to be playing on performance mode, epic settings. Uh, this is competitive settings and uh, the other two setting modes. And uh, I don't really think we need to play on medium and high because that's just going to be in between the two. But we will do epic settings and we will do low settings because yeah. This game's already scuffed. And dropping in, it's looking really well. This is probably what I would say would be representative of average gameplay. Just running around in uh, pubs. Uh, even in some small fights, like this is going to be perfectly fine. It's actually not that as bad as I thought it would be. This is not as stuttery as I remember. The last time I really played on this laptop as my main was back in Chapter 2, Season 5. And let me tell you, that season had some performance issues. It was a fun season. That season had some some performance issues, and now if I could stop lagging, that would be wonderful. Like even if I was getting like 120 FPS, I, I play 165 hertz, I would not be able to notice it. It would all look, it would all look fine to me realistically. I'm pretty picky with my setup, so yeah. Overall, really good performance. Temps are up there, but I mean, in the laptop form factor, that's what an inch and a half thick. No, not even. Uh, that's respectable. You don't really have to start worrying until temps are above 100 degrees Celsius. Which, uh, they're not. And I'm in the auto fan mode right now. If I was at max fans, I'd be doing better. Hooray for no, no lag, no packing loss. As I say that, my ping jumps to 60. There we go. Can you just... Dude, why are there so many? What just happened? What? The frames weren't even that bad. The frames held up actually really nicely. I didn't notice any drops. Which, I mean, obviously we were, were below 165. But, like, still yet. Jesus Christ. Kids these days, man. Okay, one kill. Okay, we did have a stutter there. 
I didn't really notice it too much, but it was definitely there when I hid back around the wall. That's a kid. He's mad. Okay, this sucks. Yeah, it's not even bad. We're dropping below hundreds, dropping in, but I mean... I didn't even know he was there, dude. I couldn't see him. Until I landed, and it's like, oh, there's a guy here. But unless you launch pad like an arena endgame all the time, this should not really be a problem. And don't think that me being bad at the game is how you'll play. I'm just, like, actually bad at this game. Especially when there's like a bajillion people here. Oh my god. Look at me now, bitch. A thousand ping in a dream. Jesus Christ, no. Okay. I'm a freaking Christmas tree. I just realized what skin I'm wearing. Okay, this kid. Ah, there goes the left ear bud. Okay, putting it back in my ear. Oh my god, another guy's here now. That's just lovely. Alright, I'm gonna switch to low settings now. See if it helps us improve our frames any. Alright, here we go. I think it raised our FPS by like 10. Which, realistically... You can't really- unless it's like 60 to 70 frames, you can't really see a difference. I feel like I'm just getting third partied. Oh, that made a heart. Okay, well that's... I respect it. That's a way to finish out a game, I guess. Now if I could... Once again, I die from a player who... I was not... Fighting. Yeah, 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 we get it, we get it, we get it. You're cracked at Fortnite, Jesus Christ. I think it's safe to say... I was actually really impressed. I did not notice any stuttering, like, at all. I noticed one stutter, I think, in the middle of the video, but I, I noticed that in the middle of the game, and I was like, yep, we just stuttered there. I think I could run this as my main, like, overclock it, optimize it a little bit better, because this is a fresh Windows install that I didn't optimize yet. But overclock it, optimize it. We'd probably get 140 to 160, and I think I'd be able to run this as my main again. But um, obviously, I have a $1,500 PC, so I'm not going to do that. Anyways, I didn't see any noticeable stuttering. It was actually a really nice experience. I could run this as my main again, but I have a $1,500 PC, so I'm obviously not going to. But honestly, if I had to run it as my main, like let's say my graphics card just broke, like the, the stupid adapter that Nvidia makes us use with the Founders Edition cards just broke, and I had to run this, uh, I would I would obviously be upset because <laughs> my $500 hard to find graphics cards bricked. But um, really. I would be able to probably get away using this just fine and uh yeah so that's crazy to see how fortnite has managed to optimize their game to the point where it doesn't actually suck like it did when i left the nitro 5. i think that's pretty much it i think that's all we covered we played a longer time on high settings than we did on low settings that was just my bad i didn't notice stuff I'm playing on high meshes uh that's that i guess low meshes will maybe boost your frames by 20 or so percent i'm not entirely too sure because i don't really play the low meshes but um i've heard it can boost your frames a decent amount so try that out if you want i'm not gonna do that in this video but um yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in now for the new guys that's gonna be it for me for today and uh yeah i'm out peace <laughs>